This is one of our beautiful small native orchids. This is showy orchis. Orchis spectabilis. What a beautiful name. And even though it is small and in miniature, the flowers are exquisite. Beautiful, beautiful native flowers. And I love, again, a typical orchid shape. Um, these are not common. Uh, they're not common at all. And there's, of course, several reasons for that. Biggest of which is that it has a, a symbiotic relationship uh, with certain mycorrhizal fungi. And if those, those fungi are not present in the soil, then the plant uh, is not able to survive, um, at, at least not for very long. And this is important because some people come up and they want these native orchids, and so they come and they poach them. They actually take them and uh, dig them out. And when you do that, you are likely killing the, uh, the, the, the supporting fungi. And so if you transplant it to a place where the fungi's not there, it'll linger on maybe for a year, maybe even two, and then it dies. Um, there have been attempts at native orchids and trying to actually uh, get, uh, I guess, inoculate the soils. So you put them in a pot and the, the pot is inoculated with certain mycorrhizal uh, fungi that will help this grow. But uh, the reality of it is that uh, when you move it, a lot of times the fungi doesn't transplant well and it dies as well. As if that wasn't enough, uh, this does not have a lot of rewards for pollinators. So bumblebees, which are the main ones, have to push their way in. And when they do... Um, they're not rewarded with a lot of nectar, it's strictly pollen, and so they may not want to return to the same flower again. If it does get pollinated, the seeds are tiny, tiny dust-like little things, produce quite a few of them for such a rare plant. And that's uh, because if the seed spreads, and a lot of times the wind might even carry it, but if it lands in a spot where there's no fungi, it is not able to grow. And so that's important to realize as well. And uh, another problem with this is that this particular uh, plant, uh, like many of the orchids, is a favorite of deer, and deer eat it up. Um, and so the deer, because we're having overpopulation in many of our areas, are, are starting to really affect the orchid populations as well. Luckily here, this is in the wildlife management area, so this is a hunting area, this is Thompson's wildlife management area. It's paid and bought for, maintained with hunting dollars mostly. and. Uh, because of that, hunting is allowed here, and we don't have a lot, an overpopulation of deer. They're still here, of course, because uh, they're important now, members uh, uh, of the community, but um, they are not uh, to such numbers that they affect the populations, and that allows this place to be one of the registry sites, and a beautiful one of the Virginia Plant Society, a place well known for its orchids and beautiful other things, especially in this case, it's the lady slippers. Oh, and by the way, here is last year's Oh, actually, it's not just last year's. Here is the buds of a brand new flower about to open here, showy orchis. But here are the seed head from the previous years. So this one was successful. It got pollinated, shot back up, produced a seed pod. And I really hope that the seeds landed in a productive area where they can grow again. Showy orchis, one of our native beautiful orchids. Orchis spectabilis, a native orchid of our woodlands that should be left there they're not transplantable leave them for nature to produce for us